So I started working for DC um, in 1981 directly out of Colorado State University. I am Lois Goblet. At that time I was Lois Marshall. Back in the late 70s, there were very few women in the, the field, and in my graduating class, class of 79 at SUNY Cobuskill, where I did two years back then, it was only a two-year institution, um, there were two other women in the class, and I transferred to Colorado State along with about five other gentlemen and uh, picked up my bachelor's, so I did two years there. And uh, the winter before I graduated, I uh, went to the de uh, Department of Environmental Conservation Endangered Species Unit and introduced myself and said, hey, I'm looking for a job. So my entire time at Endangered Species, the Eagle Project was my, my main project. Uh, I was there in 81 and I left in 86. Even when they're ready to fledge, um, they aren't fully adult size, but they are a big bird. They can have a six foot wingspan. The females are bigger than the males. Um, I always handled them with a lot of respect. I love hearing from people that they saw a bald eagle. Um, I love seeing photos on Facebook that people post because that bird happened to be where they went kayaking or came to their farm field. So the impact that the restoration project has had, yes, on the bald eagle population, but on people appreciating our national symbol. I mean, here was a bird that New York State had one nest left, one. And through science, good thinking, collaboration with Fish Wildlife Service, that, that nest site kept going uh, until the parents aged out. And then for the restoration project to bring in all of these birds that now have set up camp all across New York. Um, how many nests do we have in Schoharie County? It's amazing. So yeah, it was successful. And, and let's hope, and I, not hope, I know the department, um, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, I think we're raising people today, young people, to be educated on how to care for our land a lot better than, than we did years and years ago before DDT. Um, so yeah, big success story.